So now we'll be going over mathematical models. So what exactly is a mathematical model? Well, it's nothing more than an equation that describes a certain system, a mechanical system. It could be a free falling body. It could be with respect to the displacement, the velocity, the acceleration, and so forth. It's actually able to describe um, physical reality, which is what's so amazing about it and the most practical application for differential equations. So let's go ahead and do an example of a free falling body. So for this free falling body, so we'll be representing this free falling body as an instantaneous dot. It could be representing either just a, a ball falling in free space, it could be a parachuter, and so forth. Usually you always make simplifications in these mathematical models. The more um, realistic they are, the more complicated these equations. So for this case, it'll be a very simple um, instantaneous dot. Um, free falling, of course, so we have gravity, so gravity, gravity is putting it at it downwards, so the weight of it, mass times gravity, and of course, we'll be including air resistance. Now, for this particular um, example, we'll be doing a parachute, parachuter falling with air resistance that's approximately to the power of the instantaneous velocity, so let me go ahead and draw that. So of course a free falling body, you have weight pulling it down, but of course you have air resistance resisting that movement, which is a k constant times the velocity squared in this case. So now the question is, determine a differential equation for the velocity of this falling body with mass m and with the air resistance equal to k velocity squared. So this is nothing more than a force balance. So the summation of forces along the y direction, because that's the only direction we see forces along. So we have, let's say the values going up is positive, values going down is negative. So we have positive k v squared take away m g. And this will be equal to the mass of the body that we're analyzing and its respective acceleration. So we have k times v squared take away mg is equal to m. And another way of writing acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, or dv dt. So this would be your differential equation. So going back to your physics course, this is actually how they derive those kinematic equations, assuming constant acceleration and as well as um, neglecting air resistance, which is pretty cool. So for this example, we'll be using a spring with a mass hanging at the end of that spring. So initially, this spring is at this, um, this length originally, and then you hang a box with a mass m and it displaces, let's say, a s amount. So it displaces at equilibrium position. So you initially have that spring, then you load it with some load, it, it gets displaced a certain amount s, and then at this point it's at equilibrium position. Now afterwards, you actually start moving that, that mass downward, and then you leave that system moving up and down. So now we're being asked to derive a, come up with a differential equation that describes the displacement of this um, mass m with respect to time, of course. So keep in mind, initially, the spring displaces S, um, S amount, but after in motion, it gets displaced X amount from here. And let's assume downward direction is positive for this case. So this would be nothing more than a, a force balance, right? So let's go with equilibrium position. At this position, let's simplify a bit. We'll draw that box with mass M as a dot. You have your mass times gravity straight down and then you have your your spring which is the your spring constant times the s that was originally displaced and now from here once it's actually displaced let's go ahead and draw that dot again it'll be same weight mg times your spring constant but in this case, it's already been originally displaced S amount plus an additional X amount. So it'll be your mg and the, your upward force will be K 
s plus x. So in this case, we just do again a um, a so in this case, we add up the forces in the system with respect to the y direction, right? It's only 1D. So we have your original mg going downward, which is positive, minus k times s plus x. But remember, keep in mind, let's go going back to your equilibrium, you Add the forces here, the summation of forces in your equilibrium position. So downward is positive m g take away k s. Now in this case, since it's at equilibrium, there's absolutely no movement. Therefore, your acceleration of this system will is zero. So m g take away k s is equal to zero. Therefore, k um, s is equal to m g. And from here, you're able to use this relationship and make some simplifications over here. When you distribute that K, you have the S and you're able to simplify it. So once you distribute, you see that the, your weight cancels off and then you're left with negative KX. And this is equal to the mass of the system times your rate of change, your second derivative rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Remember, it's the mass times your acceleration of the system. In this case, we're using with respect to displacement. So it'll be the second derivative of the displacement with respect to time. So this is your differential equation. So this is your differential equation. M times the second derivative of x with respect to t plus kx is equal to zero.